Hello and welcome back to Heads Will Roll Reforged. So we're in the Siege of Cambrai event. I'm going to do a little bit of skipping sometimes. So you don't have to be with me for the whole thing, obviously, because we've seen a lot of this. But I just wanted to give you an update on how Samid the First is doing. And now bear in mind that I've actually changed his build dramatically, as you can quite clearly tell from the agility being completely different from how it was beforehand, because basically what I did was I thought to myself, okay, this Estoc sword is amazing. I was actually having a whale of a time with it, but I made a fatal mistake. I was in a battle, I think it was with Ruffin, actually. It was with Ruffin, and... I, uh, yeah, this was in the pre, this was with the previous character, mind you. And obviously, as you might expect, he absolutely slaughtered me, as is always the case. However, and now here's the big deal, I then decided to go into a scavenge straight away, without resting, okay? Without resting at all. So, obviously, um, I, I did have a little bit of fatigue because I didn't really attack him that much. I died almost instantly. And... The thing is, I had one HP. I had one HP. And I was up against two bandits. And I didn't realize that I was at one HP. So I basically just died at that exact moment. So I just wanted to give you an update on that. Otherwise, this is our current character here. And he's still technically Sir Mid the First, because you didn't really see the other one. So, you know, there's that. Anyway, this is what I've decided to use. I've decided to go for the Skull Ring. Which means that critical strikes are always lethal. I have no idea what that means, but sounds cool. And we have the wolf spore here, which increases our critical chance by 5% and prolongs any bleeding on enemies. I personally don't think this is that good. So far, I feel like this has not really helped me that much. So, you know, I'm just kind of giving you the experience that I've had with it so far. And the iron claws. And now this is obviously really good if you want to... Um, well, if you bypass armor and critical strikes apply blood loss effect. So the thing is, I was trying to play kind of like a critical strike build here. And I was playing with the Great Warhammer. Now, this is all badly synergized, in my opinion. I think I did a, I, I did a bad job synergizing my build with my trinkets. Because I'm using the Great Warhammer. And what does the Warhammer do? It inflicts stuns and injuries. And so what I should have done was just stack things that provide me with the ability to inflict injuries more often and or inflict some poison like for example the uh, the dagger that inflicts poison at low virtue levels that would also be a pretty cool idea but anyway we have this quest man of god i actually didn't get this one uh the last time that we did this and the one time that i did get this event this quest I failed it so dramatically that uh, we don't even need to talk about it but it's pretty cool i now have these two things on i have the sharp dagger and i have the cross pendant and uh, i think the cross pendant is what i need to actually you know get get through this by the way this particular piece of armor right here is not damaged i just want to i just want to tell you that, that right now it is not damaged if i unequip it I, as you can see it literally says repaired and if i go to the um, if i go to the crafting screen and go to repair armor you can see it's not here so it's a bug, okay? It is a bug. I just wanted to let you know that because I'm not running around with some gloves that are that are damaged or anything like that. So yeah. Anyway, let's go to the city and see what happens. Okay, so this is obviously by order of the prince. And we're going to see. With a miserable expression on your face and a cross around your neck, you do not stand out at all from the inhabitants of the nearby abbeys who arrived in Cambrai. And without attracting the attention of the guards, you successfully infiltrate the city. So I actually had to pass a luck check here. Surprisingly enough, I didn't have, I, I don't have Lucky Devil or any trinkets that actually provide me with luck. So that's quite, quite crazy. Anyway, things are going quite well for you in the city. Looking around, you take notice of the several sections of the defensive structures that were damaged the most during the previous assaults and are now very highly vulnerable. In addition, while exploring the city, you manage to exchange a few words with a, few, a, good, a good dozen residents and soldiers, all of whom spoke about the, albeit not dire, but very difficult situation of the besieged. Okay, so what I want to actually... <laughs> what I want to impart to you right now is... Th this is very funny. 
this is actually super funny because if you think about it, think about this, okay? This is a an English guy, right? This is an English guy who has come to France and this is a French city. And I don't know whether you know this or whether this is, you know, a thing that's common knowledge or not, but even someone that is fluent in the French language and, you know, goes to goes to France for a, a vacation or lives there or whatever, the, the locals will always know whether you are from somewhere else. And so even if this guy, this random common soldier, <laughs> we are, you know, even, even if this guy is fluent in French and has an absolutely impeccable, flawless French accent, it's going to be impossible for him to, to actually do this, I, I, in my opinion, at least. But... Um, <laughs> That's why I think it's quite funny that, you know, exchange a few words and what is he going to go? All right, mate, you know, what, what's he going to do, you know? <laughs> I think that's quite funny. Anyway, a problem appears in the form of an impudent Flemish knight who accidentally bumps into you in some half-empty alley. He straight away declares that he does not like your mug. Okay, try to settle the matter peacefully. Despite the knight's accusations, you remain true to your legend and continue to portray a harmless monk. Oh, virtue! Ooh, I should have known! The Fleming, who realized that you're a spy, hands you over to the guards. In the next few days, you spend behind bars in a cold cell, and this definitely affects your health. Vitality reduced by one. But luck luckily for you, you're soon exchanged for a few French prisoners captured by the old men. Despite the partial failure of the operation, you still manage to get a certain amount of information for which you receive gratitude from the command. So we get um, reputation increased by six. However, the limited amount of information, as well as the unsuccessful outcome, has clearly upset the Earl and the Prince, and they state that they expected much more from you. Uh, yeah, okay. And we've been promoted to Man at Arms. Okay, so now, here's the thing. I actually wonder, what would have happened if I had stabbed this guy? What would have happened if I stabbed him? I don't know. I've never done that before. So maybe if we get an opportunity next time, stabbing him is probably going to make a pretty good pretty good amount of uh, pretty good amount of sense isn't it pretty good amount of sense oh yeah by the way i've actually not been using any um any like uh, scavenging related equipment at all and i've been making pretty pretty decent amounts of cash as you can see i've got 2000 cash right now which is not that bad actually amazingly enough and um yeah my coordination and my vitality are indeed very very low, which is obviously a big problem. Anyway, we're just going to train with the coach real fast, and I'm just going to increase my vitality a little bit here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a problem because the thing is, leveling vitality is all very well and good, but I don't think I have enough time. No, I don't have enough time. Oh dear. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, apparently, um, yes. I also failed the Bartholomew uh, Bartholomew quest. I didn't actually realize that he was even in the uh, in the medic bay. But that's fine. Uh, is it? Is it actually fine? Not really, but you know, we'll just have to make do the way it is. Apparently, I was totally preoccupied by uh, by the priest quest. So yeah, that obviously made a pretty huge difference. Anyway, we're just gonna stay in balanced stance here. We're gonna go for a skill feint almost immediately here. This guy is obviously gonna be pretty difficult for us. Maybe. I mean, he's got more agility than I do, which is kind of a Kind of a pretty sorry state of affairs, to be honest, but uh, we should be absolutely fine. Even if he does manage to hit me, he's he's already damaged my armor. I actually wonder how how did he do that? <laughs> how did he actually damage my armor almost immediately, considering he's using uh, a sword? It's kind of strange. Anyway, as you can see, we've got this these insane attacks, which are called Bone Crusher and Smite. And just look at how crazy this is. Smite. Drains enemy stamina and builds up fatigue. The debuff is equal to a third of your strength plus five. Damages enemy armor by a fourth of your strength. Now, I obviously don't really need to use this. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I do need to use it. Okay, let's uh, let's attack the head. Uh, uh, re really? Really? Why is, why is Sir Mid so incredibly mid right now? Why? Why is he, Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that to me? Does he Does he hate me? Yes, I think he probably does. Oh dear. Right. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a huge problem, as you could see. 
Right, okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna try and do some check feints against the guy then. I'm just gonna try to... Um, I mean, that's the funny thing. It's, it's extremely difficult to actually hit this guy, apparently. I guess we'll just go for the limbs. There you go. We hit the limbs. 25 damage. I mean, it, we do massive damage, by the way. Um, this is actually the first time you're seeing me in combat, which is really, really sad. Because I have actually been one-shotting opponents. Like, literal one-shots. So... If someone had 60 HP, I would one-shot them with a head, uh, a neck a neck hit, which is actually insane. So, yeah, it's kind of sad that you're not actually seeing him uh, do, the, uh, do the proper thing here. So, yes. Anyway, maybe we'll be able to hit him now. Okay, we'll go for the overhead. Uh, okay, limbs. Partially blocked by armor. Critical? No, no, no critical. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. How do I tell what my critical chance is? Because I have no idea. It says here, uh, agility isn't actually critical chance. So what, what, what actually impacts critical chance? I actually have no idea. Huh. Well, that's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Yeah, so this is obviously going to be pretty easy for us if we can actually just take him down. It's actually quite funny how long this has taken me to actually, you know, defeat him. But there you go. There's the there's the kill. He's done. Let's search. We're going to get some plates, sabatons. Ah, placard. Placard is actually not too bad, I guess, but not exactly what we want. And there we go. We did it. And we can now go on to the next one. Okay, so obviously, bear in mind, I do have some strong ale and some wine bottles and things like that. So I should be able to do a pretty decent job here. And we're going to be fighting the shield wall thing in just a moment, no doubt. So this is obviously, yeah, this is another one of those times where we're just going to basically be staying in defensive stance, I suppose. And there it is, 66 damage, 66 damage. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind, um, unfortunately, due to a variety of reasons, my uh, my character is, wow, my, my, my person did so much damage right there. I'm just going to recover some fatigue right now because I'm actually exhausted. This is also a reason why um, actually dealing with what we have right here, which is indeed a Warhammer, is a very difficult thing to do because without um, a lighter weapon, you're gonna have some issues with, with fatigue. Fatigue is just going to affect you super, super dramatically. So that's one thing that I'm not a particularly big fan of. Um, I was actually, you know what? It's it's super funny. I was very close to dying in a, uh, a previous uh, previous battle and I thought to myself yeah you know what maybe I should just die you know maybe I should just die because I thought to myself how would it be to actually use a one-handed mace because it still has the ability to do uh, to, to inflict injuries and everything and that's kind of what I was what I was thinking might be pretty cool but uh, I don't know I was kind of thinking maybe that would be a fun idea because then it obviously inflicts you know a lot of injuries if we if we also stack poisons and stuff like that that's also going to be a pretty significant thing for us to do now obviously if we could just do some damage here then i'll be pretty happy because we obviously just want to murder this guy okay there we go nice nice head hit right there there's the critical strike coming in boom he's dead instantly and that was our um that was our least damaging ability and there's the there's the crossbow shot coming in obviously he's got a crossbow that's very annoying but yeah, I can't do much about that. You know what I am gonna do though? I'm gonna use my uh, gonna use my pouch right here. There we go. All right, let's see what we could do. All right, so neck head. Oh, we'll go for the go for the head. Why not? Stunt. <laughs> nice, absolutely perfect. Okay, yeah. So we'll just switch to balance stance because we have a hundred percent chance to hit this guy now. And then we'll just go neck. There we go, 48 damage. 48 damage, not even with the most powerful ability that we have. Pretty crazy. Okay, so we're just gonna recover a little bit here. Yeah, they're trying to, uh, no doubt this guy's gonna try to shield bash. As you can see, my armor is taking an absolute battering. But it's fine, because these enemies are also tired. They're, they're dealing with me, uh, you know, at the same level. We should be absolutely fine to just eliminate this guy in just a moment. There we go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to shield bash me, which I will. Uh, yeah, the shield wall is also trying to shield bash me, which is not very nice. But let's try an overhead strike. Let's go for the neck. He's dead instantly. And boom. 64 damage. You see what I mean? 64 damage from this thing. But obviously, if you can manage your, uh, your fatigue right, then you'll probably be okay. But if you don't, then it's going to be a problem. Anyway, would you, would you like to loot them? <laughs> uh, mm, sure. I was kind of thinking, should I do that? Because if I do this, I'm going to have a higher chance of getting toxicity, which is obviously a bit of a an annoying thing to deal with. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just take everything here. There we have it. Okay, so 150 florins, and we now own... Yes, we own the city, which is obviously fantastic, because now we can go to the bathhouse, which is actually one of the most... Um, I, I, I know I, should, I shouldn't really be sounding so ex incredibly excited about going to the bathhouse, but it's true, because it really makes a huge difference to our efficiency when it comes to, you know, well, basically everything that we're doing here, training and, and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is um, I might go for Lucky Devil or should we go for Sticky Fingers or something like that? Maybe that's going to make a difference. I actually don't know because here's the thing. I am going to try, if I can, to get to the French mercenary route. Okay, so that means that I'm going to have to succeed with... Um, killing De Roche. Uh, but that's the thing. I can always take that next chapter because I'm going to get another upgrade point at that point. So it would probably be a good idea for me to take Sticky Fingers in this case. I'm thinking Sticky Fingers, but we could also go for Lucky Devil because luck checks, I kind of don't want to fail these luck checks. So you know what? I'll go Lucky Devil this time. And uh, yeah, then we'll see. So this is what's in my chest right now. As you can see, I actually purchased this from Bartholomew. Someone told me that he actually sells this. So I was like, oh, okay, that's great. Thanks very much. And yeah, that does seem to be the case. Okay, so wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh uh, yeah, okay. Of course, for an appropriate reward. He gave me 75 florins extra. Very nice. Okay, yeah. So obviously they've just given me some quests here. So we're, we're going to have to find... Um, the crossbowman, of course, and we're going to speak to the sergeant to be able to do that. Here we go. Yep, find your marksman. Okay, so now we just need to find um, the 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 thing, right? Is this what we need actually for this? Do we need the crossbow reloading tool? I'm just going to buy it just in case. The poisoned feast knife is actually calling to me right here. I'm going to buy that as well, just in case. Going to sell all this stuff. There we go. Sell that. Sell that. So this, uh, shield master, I don't actually use that at all. There we go. Okay, and we also need to buy some Fletcher's tools. I need to buy some more leather as well, of course. And I'm going to buy this too, because I actually don't have a good scabbard. So we're just going to swap that out real fast. And then we can just sell that. Very nice indeed. Okay, look at that. Wow, there's actually a skull ring right there, but not really necessary for me right now. And is there anything else that we can go for? No, not really, right? Okay, so... Uh, we need to go back to the sergeant now, and he's going to... Did he find one? Done as promised. Okay, there we go. So there's Vittori. So now we can actually speak to Vittori, and we can literally hand over the crossbow string. Or not. I don't have these. Why don't I have these? Wait a minute. Uh... Do I not have the crossbow string? Is it in my chest? Uh, yeah, it's in my chest. I'm an idiot. All right. Yeah, that's fine. All right. We got it. We got it. That's all we needed to know. That's all we needed to know. Okay. So now all I have to do... Oh, there we go. There's the light crossbow. I could technically do that. Serpent pendant. Injury stats debuff. That that would be... That, that might be pretty cool, actually, to do. But, um, yeah, for the moment, probably not. Uh, this is a really, really good piece of armor as well, according to some people. So... Maybe that would be an idea. Oh, water skin. I'll buy that for 50. Why not? I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's just uh, actually see here because I need to repair some stuff too. Uh, there we go. Yep, there we are. Nice. I, I love being able to repair my own stuff actually. So I still went for like a kind of heavy craftsmanship build, but I also obviously focused on strength, agility, 
and uh, and endurance. Endurance actually was pretty significantly focused on for me, but um, I'm still, you know, getting big penalties from, from other sources. So yeah, anyway, let's just see what we can do here. So I'm gonna speak to Vittori and yeah, so now we can basically do this and then this turns into this. So let's do that turns into that there's the trigger mechanism and we don't even need to do the other thing so we can hand over this hand over this and there we go we're done okay so now all we need to do is is go to the french tower and we don't even need to worry about anything else so we're done that's great so now all we need to do is just be a little bit careful about how we train and how we do all that stuff so i'm just going to go to the bathhouse real fast just to make sure that we're all good and then we're going to go to the tower straight away and he's obviously going to miss right uh, there we go. Impressed by your accomplishments. Everything's working really, really nicely. Okay, great. So there you go. So he actually did it. And uh, yeah, the quest is now done. Okay, wonderful. So apart from everything else that we've done so far, we have zero fatigue, which is wonderful. Zero fatigue. So now we can just literally train absolutely infinitely. We can train as much as we want to. So let's actually do that, shall we? Coordination is something that I really do need to improve, by the way. But I also need to improve my melee weapons and so on. So this is uh, uh, this is uh, a pretty uh, pretty big big money sink. But that's the thing. We can also go and uh, scavenge some stuff. But let me actually just take a look at my inventory real fast. Just want to make sure I'm not taking anything. Uh, you know, we want to. Yeah. So basically, what I'm going to do. Critical strikes are always lethal. What does that actually do? I don't know. So I'm going to unequip that right now, and I'm just going to equip the poison thing. I don't even know whether the poison thing is actually any good, because let's face it, if I hit someone with my with my warhammer, they're just probably going to die, right? They're probably going to die. So most of the time, it's basically pointless. So maybe I shouldn't even bother with using that. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't even bother. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, I'm not going to actually be looting anything right now. We're just going to go and scavenge some more. Okay, so let's go and scavenge. Let's see what happens. Large carts. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's agree. Sure, I'm going to help out this guy. Why not? Strength check passed. Wonderful. Yeah, we're going to get some more healing herbs. And some strong ale. And some more poison. Hey, we're getting so much stuff right here. This is really, really good. Usually I leave the cloth because I don't actually create any of the things with cloth. But I should probably take it, all things considered. But I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay, what's this? Aha, a dilapidated crypt. Okay, yeah, we're going to walk away from this. Because, uh, so, what? Ah, oh, did, did you see that? We just literally lost a huge amount. Huge amount of stats right there. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, happens. It happens. Okay, anything else that we can create here? Maybe we can create some, uh, some strong homebrew poison. Yes, very good. Okay, so we actually managed to do that as well. So... I can just sell all of this. And yeah, we're pretty good. Okay, so now what I should do is I should probably just buy all of this leather. And that's what I'm going to do now. And then we'll head on over to training some more. All right, so as you can see right here, we've just been called before the Earl and the Prince. And they're going to tell us that, uh, that yeah, that Daroche is alive. And uh, we're going to try to, we're going to try to kill him. We're going to try to assassinate him. So that's what we're going to have to do, as you can see right here. So basically, they're telling me to go and immediately do that. Obviously, I can't do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to visit the bathhouse real fast. And then we're going to do it. So yeah, so basically, uh, I just want to see if I can buy anything else here. Wine might be pretty good. Mm, yeah, well, I, th I think we're probably going to be fine the way it is. So as you can see, we do have 18 strength, 17 agility, 16 melee weapons, 15 endurance. Don't think my melee weapons is enough. I actually wanted to train this much more before we went there, but I guess it's going to be fine, right? Is it? <laughs> is it going to be fine? Anyway, let's try it out. Okay, there we go. Prepare for battle. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. There we go. You managed to get inside the camp. If you have to deal with the guards, you attack with a battle cry. All right, so there we go. Okay, now these guys are actually kind of difficult. And the only thing I can really do here is just try and murder them as fast as possible. I mean, we could technically try for a limb attack. I'll go for the limbs immediately. All right, that didn't work. 
That's actually kind of sad. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to hit them with a 52, but obviously it's not likely that that's going to happen. So that's obviously a bit of an issue. Okay, that guy has just broken his shield. I should probably just go for the overhead on the on the head or the limbs. I'll go for the limbs. Why not? 100% chance. Why not? And we're going to do so much damage to him. And he's now bleeding. So that's pretty decent. He's got no stamina remaining. We could actually continue to batter his limbs right here. And that's probably going to end up killing him maybe. As you can see, another poison. He's dead. Nice. Good work. Good work, fellow soldier. Yes, good work, fellow soldier. So as you can quite clearly tell, I've actually swapped out a couple of my other trinkets because I kind of felt like I wasn't really doing that many criticals. I think you'd probably have to focus a bit more on critical strikes rather than, than what I did. And um, it didn't really it didn't really feel that effective. So I decided that I was just going to go a, a different direction. Anyway, we've already eliminated one enemy, so that's all I'm really, really pleased about. And now all we need to do is just murder this guy. And we should have a pretty easy time of doing that as well. 91% chance to hit the neck. Unfortunately, he has a shield, which is very, very frustrating. Every single time an enemy has a shield, they're always able to block with it, which is quite funny considering the fact that I usually never have my shield block uh, appropriately you know sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't there's the head kill right there look at that 66 damage his neck snapped very nice indeed all right so i'm just gonna search there is no real reason for me to um get my uh you know uh get my fatigue back or anything like that oh there's a long sword not bad not bad okay so there we go we can now have a look all right. Yeah, it's a blade of a dagger. Agility check passed. Oh, last time, I don't think I passed the agility check. There you go. There's Eva. And obviously, if you don't know this already, Eva is uh, Deroche's daughter. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so now we have to decide whether we want to kill him or spare him. We are going to kill him this time because I want everyone to love us, apart from Eva, of course. And... Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to, you know, join, as you can see, relationship lowered by 100. Well, hopefully we'll be able to join the soldiers and the, uh, well, not the Earl specifically. There we go. We've been promoted to Squire. Very nice indeed. Okay, we have a weapon, uh, we have a weapon talent point here. So what do we want to go for? Well, I'm thinking right now that I'd like to, I'd actually like to increase my shield damage. I know that sounds super dumb, but... I don't know whether you've noticed, but every single time I've hit a shield, it has always been left with about 8 HP remaining. And if I could increase my shield damage by 10, that would really make a huge difference. However, I could just increase the chance to bypass the enemy shield with a melee attack. That would probably make more sense, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Maybe. I think that would make more sense at least. So I'm probably going to do that. There we go. Why not? Okay, so apart from that, look at our soldiers. Look at that. Look at the Earl. 95 out of 100 with that guy. 74 with the soldiers. I'm actually not entirely sure why it's so uh, why it's so low. I feel like we should have a lot more with them, but kind of a bit strange. I'm a little bit worried about it, actually. Okay, this can be used in crafting. I'm probably going to be keeping this. Seems pretty good. And then we're just going to sell the rest. Face protection. This can also be used. In, uh, in crafting, I could potentially find a decent-ish uh, helmet to go with that, maybe. And then we could, um, you know, possibly use it. Uh, the empty vial, I'm not entirely sure if I'm even going to be using that. So I'm probably just going to sell it for now. And we are otherwise just going to go into the training screen once again. I'm just going to try and train as much as I possibly can before the end of the time. So we're just going to train our melee weapons here. Going to train some of our endurance as well. And uh, I actually wonder, would it actually help me to uh, go to the, go to gamble with with uh, with the people? I actually don't know. Maybe it would, makes more sense to, for me to gamble. I have no idea. But yeah. Anyway, let's just do this once again. Another rest. I got another talent point. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Um, let's see. Bypass enemy armor. Bleed chance. Shield damage. I'm going to take the shield damage. I'm literally going to take the shield damage. I know it's probably not the best idea, but I'm going to try it out and see whether it actually works for me. And we'll see. Maybe it's going to be good. Maybe it's going to absolutely suck. And if it sucks, then, well, that's just how it is. Okay. So there we go. Now we can basically train one time. Yep. There you go. One time training. And now we can continue onward. And that's it.
Okay, so the death of Daroche by your sword cancelled out the possibility of peace and so on and so forth. Okay, let's actually see what happens here because I'm actually really surprised or hopeful. Uh, maybe we're going to uh, maybe we're going to get to be a mercenary this time. It would be pretty cool if we could, and if we can't, then I will be quite sad. Oh, I didn't repair my armor. Hmm, that was the one thing that I forgot to do. My bad. My bad. Okay, that might be a bit of a problem. All right. Well, 64% chance to hit his head, the neck, I mean. <laughs> uh, yes, that's uh, it's not looking particularly good. We're just going to stay in balanced stance for the moment. Whoa, this guy is getting absolutely murdered. Okay, so yeah, he's just done this on me right now. He's fainted me. It's actually, how did he faint me while I was in balanced stance? That's kind of weird. All right, well, whatever the case, let's go for the neck once again. Blocked with the shield. How annoying. Yep. That, that's uh, that's generally what's going to happen now, isn't it? That's generally what's going to happen. He's just literally going to block me every single time. That's the reason why people are suggesting that I go for uh, an axe in my uh, in my scabbard, you know? That would probably make sense, considering that I'm going to be able to split shields really, really fast. Might make, uh, might make a good, um, good deal of sense. However, the main problem is that I don't have any... Um, any axe uh, weapon points, you know what I mean? So it's maybe not gonna not gonna be that good. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be good. Anyway, 87% chance should be able to hit that. Boom, he's dead. Look at that. He literally just died. And and there's so many so many status effects afflicting him. It's it, it's just catching up. It's so hilarious. Okay, so now we just have another one here. I should hopefully be able to survive this. This guy's got shield bashes up the wazoo. So hopefully that's not gonna work. Hopefully we're going to be fine here. I'm going to continue using Respite as much as I can here until he uses an attack. There we go. He managed to shield bash me annoyingly enough. Maybe we can do something else here. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's go for an offense here. Let's just let's just murder him. Let's just murder him completely. Boom. Look at that. Insta-kill. Absolute insta-kill right there. It's actually insane. Um, what's really, really annoying, actually, though, uh, should, should I even, uh, should I search? Uh, I'm going to search. Yeah, we're, go we're going to search. Okay, we've got a nobleman's shield right here. Probably, n I'm obviously not going to use that. Ooh, a spiked axe. Could be useful. Could be useful. We've got the iron claws once again. All right, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so here we go. So that was obviously the French cavalry, and now we're going to have to defend against the others. This is going to be a little bit tricky because they are all fresh, as you can see. That was kind of the reason why I was kind of maybe contemplating, um, you know, doing a little uh, little difference with my uh, searching, uh, you know, versus uh, restoring my, my HP and, and so on and so forth. But yeah, anyway, let's just go for a nice little balance stance here. And then we're just going to do some check feints. I basically just do that just to get them to attack us because I don't have a shield right now to cower behind it or anything like that. So, yeah, they're, they're being very, very wily right now as well, as you can see. I mean, look at them. They're, they're literally just shooting their crossbows very annoyingly. Okay, let's try and hit this guy, shall we? 100% chance to hit his neck. Boom, he's dead instantly. 66 damage. He had 60 HP, by the way. 60 HP. Absolutely crazy. There you go. And we are still doing pretty well in regards to our fatigue as well. Uh, I feel like maybe I should have swapped out my other trinket as well, you know. I, th I feel like there are definitely going to be more useful trinkets. So I probably should have done that. No, well, never mind. I can't do much about it now, can I? Um, yeah, so I'm actually restoring 11 fatigue every single time I use respite, which is actually pretty good. So not bad. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, so he's got literally no stamina right now, so I should be able to kill him instantly. Boom. Insta-kill. 66 damage. Yeah. That is so nice. And uh, this is actually the thing that I also noticed, I think, and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure whether this is actually the case, but something I noticed was when you use an ability, or shall we say when you use an attack, your fatigue increases by the amount of stamina that it costs. You see, at least that's if you've obviously played the game, then you obviously know this. But if you haven't, I thought that might be quite interesting to you if you didn't know, because uh, I didn't. I actually just uh, found that out literally earlier when I was uh, progressing off screen, um, because basically what happens is, for example, right here, look at this, 27 stamina. If I use that, it's going to increase my, my fatigue by 27, or at least it should. So in this case, it would actually increase 
to 55. Is that correct? I think it would increase to 55. So if I use this, boom, like so. He's dead instantly, even though his armor actually did uh, come in and actually do something there. But yeah, look at that. It increased it to 55. So I was actually correct about that. Anyway, let's just take some of this. We can obviously sell this if we want to. We've got a load of, lo a load of inventory space. So that's really, really nice. Okay, uh, so we can retreat or we can fight on. Last time, I retreated, I believe. And this time, I'm going to fight on. Here we go. Reputation with soldiers increased. Virtue increased. I mean, I don't really care about the virtue because obviously, I mean, literally, minus 78 virtue. I'm basically... Uh, stop right there, criminal scum. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what's happening with me right now. Anyway, here we go. Okay. So this is going to be really, really intriguing because I have no, I've not done this before. So this is going to be kind of uh, kind of interesting. So let's have a look. All right. So let's just do the check feint. Nice hit, sir. Nice hit with your with your crossbow. Very nice. I certainly wasn't expecting that. All right. Let's just restore ourselves real quick. This guy is literally going to die. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to I'm just going to finish him off. Let's just finish him off with a limb attack. Boom. Can we get him? Poison? No. Uh, oh, he got killed. Oh, okay. <laughs> he got hit by the other guy. That's fantastic. Okay. So now we can just recover a little bit. Where's, uh, where are the other, the other soldiers? Are there, are there, are there no other soldiers that want to, uh, want to come over and say hi? It doesn't look like it. That's kind of a bit weird. All right. Uh, a bit strange. He's recovering a whole bunch. I'm going to continue using Respite here. My, the ring... Uh, uh, by the way, I got this ring completely randomly from the store. I didn't get it from the altar. I didn't get it from my character creation or anything like that. I got the ring from, from the store. Um, due to high reputation or whatever it was. I think it was high reputation that, that got me that. Anyway, let's do some damage. Okay, yeah. So we're, we're literally just going to hit his limbs. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to hit his limbs because he's got no protection there whatsoever. He dropped his shield, hilariously enough. And I'm just going to continue attacking him right now. Just going to continue attacking the limbs. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Hopefully, can my guy, uh, can, can he do something? <laughs> can, can he do something a little bit here? I was actually kind of hoping that he would be a little bit more effective. But um, yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter too much, does it? This guy is going to be dead in just a moment anyway, so we can just literally do this. Boom, he's dead. Nice. Okay, so what actually happens when you're successful in actually defeating these guys? Because I've never done that before. Okay. Brief pause in the fighting. Okay, so let's search. Okay, well, Knight's Last Hope. Never seen this sword whatsoever. Okay. Uh, water skin, kite shield. What does this actually do, by the way? Ah, reduced... Reduce 50% uh, stamina loss and fatigue caused by enemy shield bashers and grants full resistance to the knockdown effect. Alright, okay. Not entirely sure if that's particularly good, but I guess it will be in certain cases. Okay, so my vitality has been reduced by 3, and we've been taken prisoner. However, my prestige has given me success. Okay, yeah, we're going to pay the 400 florins. Okay, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, yes, yes, Every, we've, we've gone through this before, we've gone through this before, we know exactly what has transpired, and we are going to uh, agree. There we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what actually happened here? Did I... Uh, did, did I literally, did I do the wrong thing? Oh, no. Oh, I think I'm, oh, dear. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I literally went on the noble route by mistake. Okay. Uh, that's kind of interesting. I've never done this before. Okay, well, that's, that's interesting. Great. I like it. I like it. So that, I mean, that's what, that's what I wanted to do, basically. I wanted to do something new. And while I did want to do the mercenary route, I um, obviously mistakenly <laughs> decided that I would do the noble route, which apparently, according to quite a few people, is the hardest. And so I'm not that much looking forward to it, but we'll see. Yes, this is certainly not a palace, but after six months intense in the open air, it's better than nothing. 
Dartford ever was a royal residence in the proper meaning, it served more as hunting grounds, so don't go around looking for golden chandeliers or linen of thick silk, if you know what I mean. No thick silk, huh? I was puzzled for a moment, but only until I saw the maids. Now I understand where all the thickness went, and I also understand why your father loved going hunting so much. You don't need silk linen with these kinds of girls, if you know what I mean. Ha ha ha. Uh... I, I actually don't. I actually don't know what you mean. Are you talking about thick as in with two C's? Are you talking about that? I have no idea. Hey, Sir Mid. I'm impressed. I've never been to a king's castle before. There we go. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know why they gave me the option to, to actually say something there. Because if I said I'm not impressed, it'd probably lower his reputation with me or something like that. Okay, so basically I'm on the enemy side now to when we were siding with Duncan, if I'm correct. Right? I'm going to assume that that's the case. Okay, and for that, he will, he will need the help of Parliament. Those imbeciles. And honestly, he may very well get it, as Parliament is filled not just with imbeciles, but with imbeciles notorious for their thirst for power and gold. So that hasn't changed. And he might promise them just that. So what do we do? Our task is simpler in some sense. We only have to do one thing. Cut the head off this treacherous bastard. But we can't just do it, can we? Why do I feel like there is a trick? There's always a trick if you've got a tiny... There is no trick here, Sir Mid the First, but there is something to consider. I'm all ears. I doubt Canterbury already possesses an army at this point, but he soon will. He is a very rich and resourceful person. Do we have an army? Oh, even better, we've got you. Are you serious right now? You're, you're literally saying, you're literally putting all of your hopes on this random idiot played by me. Okay, that's kind of, that's maybe not the best idea. Which, knowing you, is of course a lot, but still not enough to challenge a Canterbury in an open field. This is why, while Canterbury is occupied with getting the Parliament on his side, we've got some force building to do. Calling the banners once again and starting to gather men from all across the country is rather pointless, because firstly, the war has considerably depleted the kingdom's resources, and instead of skilled fighters, we'll be getting a bunch of useless scrubs. And secondly, which is even more important, we simply don't have the time. Raising an army in a conventional way takes months to even get going, and that is more than enough time for Canterbury to hire several hundreds of skilled mercenaries and just crush us piece by piece. Exactly, the situation is not easy, but luckily for you, we've already got a plan. We need to act fast, which means we'll have to work with what we have close by. Our task is to win favor with the local lords whose castles and estates are located around London. There's quite a few wealthy people among them who have their own personal forces. A couple dozen of well-armed and well-trained men plus auxiliaries. Get them all to support us and all of a sudden we have a small but capable army. But what is my task? It is unlikely that I'll make a good negotiator. I'm afraid they won't let me in. That is true. But don't underestimate yourself. The fact that you're a filthy commoner and not a noble does not mean that you can't be useful. I'll do the I'll do the negotiating. My good friend Northampton here will take care of the logistics, and you, Sir Mid the First, will be occupied with a delicate matter. A delicate matter? Not far from here in Greenwich. There's the yeah, there we go. There we go. There's the estate of the Count of Cordwell. The old man himself is already well over sixty. He's somewhat distraught and prefers to live a rather secluded life. He could be a valuable ally, not him personally, of course, but his men and his estate. Greenwich is pretty much at the doorstep of London, perfectly placed to conduct any operations against the city. We could gather forces there and use it as a fortified stronghold if necessary. But how the hell am I supposed to convince the senile Count to do that? He probably won't even want to see me. You're underestimating us, boy. We've got it all figured out. There's just this little detail that you're not aware of yet. The old man has a daughter. During the French campaign, we couldn't help but notice that you were fighting some battles on the love front as well. We even made a bet on how soon that medic girl would brush you off. I thought you wouldn't last a week. I thought you wouldn't last a day. Thanks for that. It's always nice to see the commanders believing in their own soldiers. <laughs> what? That is the most hilarious thing I have ever seen. Okay, so, impressed by your service and accomplishments, Prince Edward has decided to grant you a knighthood. You've received the title of Knight Bachelor. Knighthood enables you to gather and lead your own warband. The sergeant can aid you with finding suitable candidates. You've received a salary in accordance with your rank, 135 florins, and prestige level, uh, 128 florins. 
Strength and vitality increased. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so we've got civic talents here. So obviously I'm going to be taking good manager now. Lower squad members, upgrade cost by 20% if your reputation with soldiers is 90% or more. So I will be taking that straight away. And then our weapon talents, well, we could probably take something else. Probably thinking about taking... Uh, increased chance of inflicting an injury, I guess. Or increased chance to bypass enemy armor. Uh, I think inflict an injury is probably better than anything else there. Okay, so unfortunately my uh, my new civic talent isn't even active because my soldier reputation is 88 out of 100, which is very, very sad indeed. However, as you can quite clearly tell, I have kept every single bit of my cash, which I really, really appreciate. And we're no longer with uh, Cecilia here, unfortunately, as you might expect. So I will not be able to do the, the cool things that we absolutely love. Yes, yes. Okay, so unfortunately, as you can see right here, uh, that's not really going to work. None of that. That's fine, though. We already have um, very, very good armor, so we can just put that back on. Got so much stuff here. I feel like I should really sell some of this stuff, of course. But yeah, anyway. That's going to be it for this episode. We've, we've got a completely different route on our hands, which I'm very excited about, even though it is going to be the most difficult one, apparently. So we'll see how that goes. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.